Afternoon everyone, it's a pleasure to see you uh, this afternoon at Ibrox. Here today to introduce you to Giovanni, who's our 17th permanent manager at Rangers. Uh, we're delighted that Gio has taken up the appointment and we're looking forward to the new era that awaits Glasgow Rangers. So I can just hand you over to David and he'll manage the questions. Giovanni, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome back to Glasgow. You've walked into this stadium as a player before. Give us an idea of how it feels to step through these doors, knowing you're now the manager of this football club. Well, I'm very proud. As you said, it's been, um, you know, 98 when I first came here. I sat together in this, in this room with Dagatvika, the, the coach. So uh, to, be, uh, to be back now as, a, as the manager is a proud feeling. Uh, of course, always kept in touch with the club, also the players I played with. So it's, uh, it's, it has been a, a beautiful time as a player. And it's good to be back now as a manager and the last days being in Glasgow again and being uh, involved with all the people working with the club uh, made that feeling only more, uh, more special. It's a big decision to take on a huge job like this. I just wonder if you can give us an idea of who you consulted before making the decision and what advice they've given you on taking this role. Well, it's been a, a moment where uh, when we first had the contact last week uh, in taking the job, uh, for me, it was uh, quite easy because, you know, I know the, the club. I know how, how, how big uh, Rangers is. So uh, for me, there wasn't an issue about thinking over uh, this, uh, this, this job. Um, but, of course, you, you have to talk to the people first uh, and then um, see if they were really offering me the job. Uh, but I, had a, I was confident that I, uh, I would... Uh, would have the job because you know it's it's a club I want, it's a club I want to lead, uh, and I want to uh, bring success to the club. And uh, you know, I've been working for for a big club as well as Feyenoord, very big club with a lot of pressure. Uh, also, uh, you know, a club I really know uh, from when I was young. So I think those clubs are very similar, and hopefully, I can bring the same success as I did together with my staff and the players to, uh, to Rangers. You saw your new team in action firsthand <laughs> yesterday. Yes. Um, again, they did not win, of course. I just wondered what you make of the team you're inheriting and just what you made of, of Connor Goldson's comments after the game, that maybe the group have lost a little bit of hunger. Does that concern you at all? Well, I, as you said, you know, I saw a lot of footage uh, about the team, a lot of games they played this season. So, uh, you know, it's a great squad. You know, they, they won the league last year. And uh, obviously, you know, the second year to be champions is, is more difficult. But, uh, you know, we're still in, the, in a good place. And, uh, of course, not happy with the result yesterday. So, uh, you know, I can, think, I can see some things I want to change or we have to be better at. But uh, as, as my first meeting with, uh, with the players will be tomorrow, so I think it's, uh, it's better to tell them first, and to look them in their eyes, and to make sure that we are, from tomorrow on, we do everything to be uh, successful for this club. And uh, that's, my, that's my goal, that's my, uh, my ambition, and that's also the message I want to put across to the players. Congratulations, Gio, first of all, on your appointment Thank you. and manage the club. In terms of your background staff, the club have just confirmed those. Um, can you tell us a bit about them and what they'll bring to Rangers? Yeah, well, I brought um, you know, some backroom staff with me, also uh, staff I used to work uh, with them also in the past. So we have uh, Roy Mackay, who will be a first-team coach. You know, We played together and he was also with me and my staff at Feyenoord. And we'll be especially... Uh, looking to, to work with the strikers. Uh, Yuri Boschat is my uh, video analyst who knows the way I want to play, who knows the way I want to train and is helping me in that department. Arno Phillips is the one who will uh, take the physical um, training and sessions uh, with him. Also uh, uh, a member of staff of mine uh, which uh, I was working on for, for many years. So I think it's good to uh, bring some Backroom staff, I know. There's already a big uh, backroom staff uh, at the club. Very good people, very pro 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 professional. So in that way, I think it's a good mix to, uh, to, work, uh, to work with. 
in terms of the, the squad, you mentioned the talented squad, is it almost a clean slate for players that what they've done in the past doesn't so much count, it's what they do for you and what you see on the training pitch and we might lead to, to seeing players who've maybe not been regulars inside getting a new opportunity? Well, in that aspect, uh, yes, of course, because, you know, I'm the, the coach coming in tomorrow and work with them. So for them, it's, uh, you know, I like players to... Uh, to work hard and to show me and show the club they want to play. They want to do everything uh, possible to be uh, very good on games, very good in training. So in that aspect, I think it's, uh, it's a new beginning for them. So uh, I'm a coach who will give confidence to everyone uh, who's working, who uh, makes sure he's, uh, he will play at 100%, no matter how old you are, if you're young or old. You know, if you're good enough for me, you can, you can play. So in that aspect, I think it's a new beginning for all of us. Giovanni, could you give us a brief description of your playing philosophy and how you see Rangers playing moving forward? Well, I'm, 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 I'm brought up as a, in Holland, so we all know the 4-3-3 system. I'm uh, familiar with as a, as a player with all the teams I played with, uh, but also as a coach, I'm, you know, I'm uh, very fond of the system as a, as a starting point. I think you can have uh, many systems within a game, depending on which uh, opponent you're playing, if they're pressing really high up, if they're defending really deep. So I'm, I want to make sure that my players know the different ways of playing against each system. And it, that's the most important thing because I think modern football is more about the, the dynamic and also the, the, the dynamic in changing uh, within games. So for me, that's the, the most uh, important thing to work on from, uh, from day one. You join at a crucial time, was six weeks, um, lots of important games in there. Will it be a challenge to implement those ideas when the games are every three days? Well, you don't have, uh, obviously, you don't have the preseason where you have six weeks or even more to work with your new staff, to work with the players. So, you know, my, my, my point of beginning is something, you know, it's not ideal, but, you know, I think the club did well to react. Uh, the last week in, in, in getting a new uh, manager, getting a new uh, backroom staff. And uh, for the players also, it's something they don't want to uh, have in the middle of the season, but it's just the way it is. So uh, from tomorrow on, we were working hard uh, to, uh, first of all, to win games. I think that's the most important thing. Right. Hi, um, I was just wondering in terms of what you should you stop well, I think we had good conversation. You know, we had two good meetings. Um, so in, in that way, I know uh, the people working with the club, where, where, the, where they want uh, the club to be in, in the next years. So in that way, their philosophy, the vision, and uh, their ambition for me is, is really good. And uh, so I think we'll... We'll always be close and discussing, you know, possible players coming in or players coming uh, or going out. But I think that's the most important thing that you are on the same level. And, uh, you know, I will be talking with, uh, with Russ, you know, daily and, and talk about the future of this club. And I'm, I'm sure the club will do everything uh, possible to, uh, to make sure uh, the future is, uh, is good. Question for Ross as well, along the same sort of lines. We've seen the recent accounts of Rangers showing a lot of loss. I think Gio has been very clear in that in terms of our discussions, but also we as a club have been really clear in that. There's no mandate to the manager that we have to sell players. We've been really, really clear as a club in our communication that we see player trading as something that has to be normal for this club, uh, as it is for nearly every club in world football. Uh, we've not been strong in that in the past, that's, that's clear to say, but the investors have continued to back this club all the time. We've rejected, as everybody knows, some significant offers for some of our players in the last two windows, and we'll do so again unless they're the right offers for the right players at the right time. But if we accept any offers, then what we'll definitely be doing is uh, reinvesting back in this squad to keep taking us forward. I think when I speak to Douglas Park and John Bennett, one of the things that we always say is we've had to invest a lot in this club, or the guys have had to invest a lot in this club to get it back to the club that we all know that, that it has to be. And we're on a really, really good level today. Um, but we've been really, really clear about what our strategy is and what it needs to be going forward. But there's no requirement on the manager to have to, to, have to sell anyone. Joe, will you be taking advice from the staff that are already here, or do you reject the 
regard this as a fresh start for every player and they'll all be given a chance to impress you? I think it's, uh, I think it's both because uh, it, 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 it has to be clear in which environment you come in. You know, the club, of course I know the club because I played for it, but, you know, it's been... Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. I think the last game of the last game I played was with the Legends in 2015, and after that, you know, I saw Rangers play against Feyenoord in the Kuip. But uh, other than that, you know, the people who are working in the club uh, will, of course, inform me about uh, you know things that had happened. But I think that's good. But uh, the most important thing for me is my feelings. You know, I'm always a coach who will take decisions how I how I feel. That's the one thing I always find. Uh, the best, and I will do it also with the decision I have to make in the coming weeks. In terms of um, your own personal philosophy, you mentioned the Dutch school of football, but also uh, final with the as Kat said, with a reputation for work, work, work. But then you've also played for Rangers, Arsenal, Barcelona, teams who have different philosophies. Yeah. What's the Gino van Bronckhorst philosophy and what can the fans expect from your team? Well, I think, you know, as you said, work, 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 it starts from working, you know, and of course, if you work hard and you have the quality, it will make it easier to, to win games. But, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a coach who is very strict, you know, I like discipline. I think it's very important for, for the way uh, you behave and the way you play on the, on the pitch. But also, you know, I like, you know, attacking style football. You know, it's, it's, it's been uh, my way of playing when I was, when I was a player. And uh, also, I like that as a coach. But I'm also a coach to uh, to see what I have, how the squad is. So the most important thing as a coach, you have to make sure that your team is is, is playing in their strength, and, and to make sure they are comfortable in the way of playing. So I'm I'm confident that we will find a, a style of play will suit my myself as a coach, but also suit the players. Thank you. Well, I think it's 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 always good uh, when you have teams playing in Europe because it's an extra games to develop yourself as a as a player, but also as a as a team, and also also for the club, it's really good to be in Europe and to be involved in it for for many games. So uh, you know we're now in a position where. When we have a good result, you know, you can be qualified for the next stages of uh, in, in Europe, which will give us more games. Um, so I, I, I like the involvement in, in Europe. And, uh, of course, playing against Sparta Prague on Thursday, you know, my first game, you know, it would be very special, of course, because it's the first game back as, as a manager, of course, at Ibrox, which is also very special. But, you know, for me, it's the most important thing. We get a result. It's my first uh, game as a, as a coach, but you know the most important thing is we get a good result for the club. No, you know, I've been brought up as a player to to go maximum in every competition you are in. You know, if it's Champions League, Europa League, or domestic league cup games you know I played many different cups also as a player in, in at Scotland in Scotland but also in England in Spain you know it's it's that desire and that hunger you have to to be involved uh, in every competition and try to win it you know it's I think that's fair to the game to be a hundred percent focused in every competition you play uh, of course you know one competition will give you more financially more money or, or you know of course Champions League you know it's the one Everyone wants to be involved in it, but I think our, 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 our base has to be, you know, try to win every competition. And that's what we're aiming to do, and the next game will be in Europe. So uh, we're going to prepare the game, uh, you know, really well, and also the players. And then uh, after that, we think about the next game. Um, yeah, well, I think it's, uh, you know, I uh, started my career as a coach at Feyenoord. Had four years with, uh, with the club, uh, you know, uh, where I was brought up. And uh, we're very successful, so it gives me a lot of joy. 
uh, for spending with the city group for a couple of months, you know, gave me a, a really good inside view about how the city group works. You know, of course, also the the first team with uh, with Pep, which was very good uh, to be involved with. Uh, and for me, uh, it's the same when I was a player. You know, I want to be a better coach every day. So. You're developing as a as a coach is the same as a player. You know, as a player, you come into the training ground and you're you have to uh, go home. You know, to be to be a better player, maybe physically, maybe tactically. You know, you have to improve every day. As a coach as well, I want to be improving every day. So every experience you have, you know, at City Group, at Feyenoord, also my time in China. Uh, will make me a better coach and also you know this job you know after you know working uh, here and and hopefully for many years um, I have to be a better better coach than I came in. And you've mentioned you're looking forward to uh, meeting the supporters you've seen a big display at Hamden yesterday what, what, did, what did you mean to that? Well it's always you know it's it's a great feeling to be to be welcomed you know especially the welcome I had from the club was was really nice, not only for me, but for my staff, for my family. And uh, it's a good feeling when you're in a place where you are, you are loved. And, uh, you know, that welcoming was, was amazing. I can imagine on Thursday it will be even uh, more. But, uh, you know, it, it, it means I have made the right decision. And, you know, I really feel at home at the, at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, we, uh, as I said before, we have to prepare the, the team for, for Thursday. Of course, tomorrow will be the first time I will meet. I already met some players, but not all. So it will be uh, only two days to prepare them. And uh, as I said before, normally you have uh, a couple of weeks to, to train uh, with the boys and train your philosophy, the way of playing. So in, in that way, it has to be a little bit different. But, uh, you know, I'm sure... You know, we can help them for Thursday in, in, in getting some uh, some information across and some uh, details to uh, to make a good result. You said obviously Roy McKay working with uh, the strikers specifically. How do you think that you and he together can get the, the best out of Morelos? Well, we, we, we want to get uh, the best out of every player. You know, not only uh, Morelos. We want to make sure that everyone on the pitch will be uh, you know the best version uh, of themselves and uh, are well prepared so in that way tomorrow you know we we're going to see the players I'm going to see the players for the first time and my job is to make sure that my whole staff is helping me in, in getting the players prepared and that can be different for for uh, for uh, for every player but you know the for me it's important to uh, to look them in the eyes and, and to to tell them what I think will will be the best for them. Thank you, Giovanni. Um, the first player that we've got was obviously under the handicap. Can I just ask how much he influenced your ideas in the game and your coaching and whether we can expect a similar style of first revolution in terms of using that market and for the home run? Uh, it's been, you know, it's been, uh, you know, how many, many years ago? It's been uh, 23 years ago since I started my career here and uh, you know, obviously, Degat Bakat was uh, a coach who, uh, who I knew from, from, from when I was young. Very important for me as a, as a player, but also as a coach. You know, I have the privilege to be working under, uh, you know, such great coaches and managers. You know, Degat Bakat, Louis van Gaal, Frank Rijkaard, Arsene Wenger. So, um, you know, it's been for me amazing to work with them. And sometimes I, I, I look back at the time and, and the way they were working. To uh, to be a better coach, but definitely I got some some aspects of uh, of Dick Advocat, uh, which I th thought was was really nice. Yeah. Any questions for Stuart, please? Mm -hmm. Stuart, <clears throat> this is the first real time that the, the club's succession plan and the things that we spoke about has really had to kick in. How pleased are you with how the club have responded within a week to get a top candidate like Giovanni here? Yeah, but I mean, Ross takes a lot of the credit for what actually happened. Uh, you know, in the period since uh, Stephen left, 
we, we move quickly, but a lot of that was because a lot of the preparation had already been done, and uh, something that we do continually, uh, Stephen, as we go through. So it's, it's you know it's really just knowing who's in the market, knowing who's available, who may be interested, and, and Rangers. And we're fortunate that we had such a good candidate uh, as we had in Giovanni, uh, who was interested in the job. And it's then you, know, you have to be thorough and you do your due diligence and you you, know, you work through that. But there's a lot of uh, long hours we went into the the past week, but said it was made easier by a lot of the preparation that had been done by Ross and his team prior to that. Hi, Joe. Have you spoken to Stephen Gerrard and of your plans to Stephen Gerrard about the problem to get his insight into the problem of Wales? Oh, well, uh, he sent a, a message, you know, uh, by email, which was really nice. And uh, of course, for him, also a change in, you know, in in, in clubs. But uh, you know, I think we will be definitely in contact in the coming coming weeks to talk about stuff. You know, he's done a really great job, you know, uh, at uh, at Rangers. Now moved to the Premier League to Aston Villa. So, I personally wish him all the best. And uh, you know, there will be some contact in next weeks. Yes. Well, I've, I've been, you know, uh, I've played many big games in my, my career. You know, it's, it's something special. It's just the special games every year. doesn't matter which country you are, you are, but, you know, as you said, you know, the old firm is, a, is one of the biggest games in, uh, in, in football, same as Feyenoord Ajax or, or Barcelona Madrid. So, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed those games. And, uh, that, you know, so... Being the manager in, 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 in those games will be the same. You know, I enjoyed the, the Final Ajax games as a manager of Feyenoord, and I will be uh, looking forward to the old forum games as well, because, uh, as I said before, those are special games, games you want to win, definitely. Yeah. Well, you said there was no compulsion to sell players. How much scope does you have to reinforce the side, and how quickly? Yeah, I think I answered that already. Um, we'll take a view on Gio, take a view in the squad first and foremost. We'll then have a chat about how that looks. If Gio wants to do anything, then I've already spoken to Douglas and John, Stuart and all the guys. If Gio wants to do something, we'll take a view in that and we'll have a look at it. So there's nothing set in stone right here, right now. Um, but we're absolutely aware that we always want to be trying to improve this squad if we possibly can. And if Gio thinks there's something that we've got to do, then we'll look at it. Yeah, we would like to. Uh, I would like to add one more uh, member of the backroom staff. We're working hard uh, with uh, with Ross in, in achieving that. You know, of course, you know it's uh, you know I want quality in my 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 backroom staff as well. And you know, hopefully, we can announce an addition to the to the staff uh, in the next days or weeks. Can I just add to that as well? I know there's a lot of noise about a Scottish or British person joining us. That's something that we're open-minded to moving forward. But the next addition to the squad will be someone else that joins us from Europe. I uh, well, I I expect everyone is on board with me tomorrow. I mean, it's just. Uh, you know, it's my uh, my duty to uh, to prepare players uh, for games. Uh, I prepare them in their their attitude, their hunger. You know, uh, their whatever. You know, for me as a as a coach and player, I, I I think the hunger has has to come from within yourself. That it starts with it. Uh, that would make it a lot easier for me as a coach. But being involved in top football all my life, I I know what's what uh, needs to be done and, uh, and what you have to do to be successful. So uh, that message I, I, I got across as a coach from when I was started and I will keep doing that. And uh, you know, if something, you know, um, or some player thinks otherwise, you know, then, then they will have a tough manager in me. You've spoken of the importance of youth in the academies in the past. Can you expect to see what players can do? Or 
I, I love working with talents because I know, um, you know the talents are working hard to achieving their goals. I had the same one when I was at Feyenoord. When I was seven years old, I uh, started in the academy and worked all the way through to the first team. So I know the feeling all the talents uh, have uh, involving in the academy. And um, so we will have a, I, I will have a look at the talents who are available, the talents who are coming up. Uh, and, you know, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the, the best things to work in, in, at, within a team, to work with young guys who are very hungry and want to learn, want to give the energy to the team. And uh, as I said, if they are good enough, the talents, and I will need them, then I will use them. Of course, you can uh, do always do more. You know, it's uh, it's it's the way you have to uh, work as a as a player, as a coach, to uh, to be the better player the next game. And uh, of, of course, you know, we can. The result of yesterday, you know, wasn't the result we wanted, but uh, it's also a result we have to use for the next game in things we have to be better at. And uh, we have to react after a result like that and do everything possible to get a positive result on Thursday. I think it's important. Yeah, we had a, we had a, a meeting this today uh, with Tavernier, and of course, he's the captain. You know, I think he's an important uh, player, an important member of the squad. So, uh, you know, I think the relationship between captain and, and coach has to always be a good one, uh, but not only with him, but also with the squad. But he's, you know, very influential, you know, uh, as a captain and also in the way Rangers plays. So uh, it was a good meeting. And, you know, I saw some other players who are already at the training ground, but we'll meet with everyone tomorrow. It's always a temptation. But. Yeah, the, the process for the work permits concluded this morning, and I saw there was some speculation this morning that it finished last week. It moved at rapid pace last week, much quicker than we thought, but the work permit process finished in its entirety for Gio and all the staff this morning. Sorry? Again? It's a big responsibility, but you know I'm not afraid of responsibility. You know I I, I, I used to the pressure, you know. Uh, so in that way, it's it's no different. And uh, you know I'm a very very positive person. So you know I will do everything to uh, to make sure we on the the, the right way. We uh, and, and and be successful for for the club. And uh, you know. I don't think you, you can perform without pressure because it, it will make you sharp, it will make you going. And that's what I uh, felt as a player and also I felt as a coach because you know you know you know you want to uh, to to get the best out of the team. That's why you work hard for I, I know results will influence that a lot, but for me, you know, it it won't change the way I, I train or, or play or or work with the players. Yeah, firstly, um, thanks to Stuart for the comments, but I, I certainly wouldn't take it as uh, personally my own role. I've got a great team behind me here as well, so a number of our people have been working on a succession plan moving forward, not only for the manager's position. I think I mentioned this in a, in a Rangers TV interview the other day. I think as a club, we've got to always have a succession plan in place for, for many key roles, 
within the club because we've got a lot of talented people work for us here now. We've built a really, really talented team of staff behind the scenes, so we always have to be ready. Um, again, I went on record that Stephen Gerrard did a wonderful job for us. He's someone who I've got the utmost respect for, someone who I consider a personal friend. But the downside of all of that was in doing a wonderful job, I knew that at some point someone was going to come and take him away. So we had to be ready for that. I think the fact that Giovanni sits with us today probably answers the question that he was definitely at the forefront of our thoughts. He was definitely someone that, that we were aware of for a long, long time. Uh, again, I got on record last week. Um, I've been uh, someone who's been in contact with Giovanni's agent, Guido Albers, for a long, long time through my relationship with Ronald Koeman. So I was, I was very, very aware of Giovanni. We as a club had him right at the top of our list straight away. Albeit, I also said we did also want to speak to some other people as well because I think it would have been reckless not to do so. Um, and we wanted to be sure that we were on the right lines and we, we, we certainly were. Thank you very much, folks. <coughs> Can go, yeah. You're the boss. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.